Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, learning about machine learning in Julia. So, what is machine learning? So, machine learning is a field of study that in which you give the computers the ability to learn just like human beings will learn without explicitly programming it into the computer. So, let me explain what I mean. For example, like we have this program, right? The Vision API, which is a machine learning program created by Google. So we, I have a picture, I have two pictures. We have this picture, right? Just like the moment I see this picture, I just know this person is not happy, he's sad, right? He's not happy, he's having a level of sorrows or he's not joyous. So, like, just as a human being can detect this, detect this. So, with machine learning, we'll be able to help computers or enable computers to be able to detect that this person is not happy. So, let's try that one. So, I have this Cloud Vision API. I'll drag the same pictures there into it and then it's going to just tell me something similar so i have my first image here so it's going to scan it and i'm going to use a different image so as it analyzes it i'm using a different image here again which is going to be something like this this one right so i'm using this image as well for my second one i'm going to drag it and paste and you're going to compare the results and actually it's going to tell us exactly as like a human being would have done okay so this is loading and this one is has finished loading so like looking at the algorithm the machine learning algorithm for for the vision api has analyzed this picture and has told, told us that the person is not joyous like it doesn't have joy the level of joy sorrow anger surprise is with all of them unlikely it has given us a confidence of 99 it's actually true, just like a human being would have seen this picture and would have said that this person is not happy. The same way when you try the other picture, right? The moment you see is you know, the person is happy. So it has given us joy, right? Which is very likely. So unlikely, and then all these things. It has given us a confidence of 100. So that is a concept about machine learning. That is whereby you, you give computers the ability to learn from data and then without you actually programming it into it so that is one of the uh, uses of machine learning again for example like if i search something from amazon right whatever i search from here i was searching some books so it's going to recommend all these things based on what i've searched this thing is using machine learning so these are some of the two applications of it to recommend and also to detect what is actually in an image and then analyze an image so let's see how we can do that in julia so in Ju julia gives you the option of several packages which you require to do machine learning but in today's tutorial we learn about how to use scikit-learn so these are the requirements first of all you need scikit-learn so you can get it from the official website right it's a python package and then you can just install it with pip install scikit-learn then you also need numpy scipy all of them come together if you use anaconda and then you need these packages to be added to your julia boss that is pkg.scikit-learn iterators to help you with, with it otherwise you'll be getting errors and then data frames just like pandas and guys fly for the protein so what is machine learning so machine learning actually is based on two aspects two broad aspects or some people say three aspects supervised learning and then unsupervised learning and the other so supervised learning is whereby you give the computer or the program whatever it is labeled data right and then you expect it, data that is known and then you supervise it and it's going to give you the results because also provides learning that then the information or the data you are putting inside is not labeled so the computer is going to find means of categorizing it that is called clustering and then putting them into the appropriate classes and giving you an analysis so that is the main concept about machine learning so enough with the talking let's try something so these are some of the packages julia provides we have ml base uh, julia machine learning scikit learning decision tree Class which is a new one, Moja for deep learning, machine learning test analysis, and then TensorFlow, which is from Google. Okay, so let's first load some the packages that you'll be using, right? So these are the package you'll be using, circuit lane. And then this fit is very important. This fit is going to tell us that don't use a fit of data frames, but use a fit of circuit lane, right? And then use a predict because data frames so have fit and then predict. This SK import is to import. The, some of the packages from circuit lane into Julia okay, and then the fly will be using it for plotting okay so let's first of all prepare our data so the data we're using is the iris data set 
which is here the iris data set you can just get it from it's about somebody's research you did very long ago and then that it compares the predict the kind of species based on the length and then the width of the sepal and beta so you can get it from here straight away or uci machine learning repo okay that's the most famous data set quite easy to use okay so that's one of the ways so let's load that into our system so it has loaded our using this read table that's read it effectively so based on these are the features right sepal these are the features and this is the species that is the target that the label okay so let's check it is the, the type of it is going to give us as a data frame and then you can just load the first 10 that is ahead so we have 10 data so this fall from one to here these four rows are the features right because the sepal length is a feature of this pc but so that means that if you know these features you can to tell us that this is what is a setosa right so this is going to be our label and this is going to be our features right okay so let's plot it so that you to see it perfectly and it's very useful when you are doing machine learning or need data analysis you to plot what you are analyzing okay so this is our plot nice so it just plotted perfectly for us so this is three species and then some of them are overlapping on each other okay that is our plot okay then let's move on to creating a feature so as i said earlier on the features are the characteristics of it and then we have you can either use this format or you can use this format so let's store that our features inside a variable right which is store inside an s feature i'm calling it s feature because it's about features and I'm plotting it as the S. So that's become easier for me to remember. And then let's move on to the our labels, which is going to be our target. So I'm storing it inside Y labels. And it still has perfectly st stored them for us. Okay, so now one of the things you have to know is that you're supposed to convert them into an array. So to convert them into an array, just use convert arrays, then the data, right? That we have the the columns. So it's going to convert the entire thing into an array for us. It is quite useful so that has convert that all of them into an array so that it to be easier for you to read. And also we can also do the same thing for the labels, which are our target data, our targets, so that, which is the species, and it's going to convert all of them into an array. Okay, so now let's learn how to build a model. So there are several algorithms which can be used. So we can use linear algorithms or non-linear so the linear ones are logistic regression and then linear regression and then the non-linear is the knn the cat plus creation and, and and then regression trees and then sv vector machine and then naive there are several algorithms but it be, it is based on the problem you are trying to solve and then how you understand the data so you have to ask the question is the problem a classification problem or a regression Classification means that like as the name goes class. So they are trying to get predict the response based on a uh, categorical data. And then regression means that like it is continuous regression. That is either response is going to be continuous. Okay. So let's move on. So first of all, you need this to import this linear model. And we'll be using logistic regression. You can also use decision tree classifier so one of the things about if your data is processed or in the screen can just be changing only the models and be checking for the accuracy of it so this is quite important so you can either use decision tree classifier straight away or you can just use any of the models which fits your problem okay, so we'll be learning about that later then i'm supposed to convert try to build a relation between our features and our labels using this fit to find it in the pattern so we use our model logistic regression and then i'm going to use the s features s labels for the species s labels for the target species and then s features for the features so we're going to fit it together okay, using regression model now i'm going to check the uh, the accuracy of our model to see whether it is truly good right so using this function it's 0 0.96 which is very good which is a very high unlike this one see that this 
give us a hundred percent right and then the other one give us a 99 percent so that's what you are trying to do here with this predict so the accuracy of the model is 0.96 right so we're going to be using cross validation when you say cross validation you have either cross validation or continuous validation so under cross validation validation they're trying to estimate how accurate this our model our predictive model right is going to be when you act when you actually perform it in practice when you actually apply that model to actual data set okay so when you did it it's going to give us a validation of 1.0 it's using several validations cross validation algorithm then so these are some of them perfect so you can even get one that is 100 percent accuracy and then 0.99 so this is how this you can even change this one from five to maybe three and then it's going to give us three you get it that is the number of folds that is given so so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed